It really is a great big beautiful blue marble we all live on. I'm going to try to share something that's kind of cool and different. Up at the very top of Minnesota there's something that looks like a chimney. It's called the Northwest Angle. It's kind of by mistake. You have to leave Minnesota, drive through Canada to go back into Minnesota. And if you're to make it up there, there's a place called Young's Bay Resort. It's an RV campground. There are a couple of them up there and I stayed at this one, so I'd like to share it with you. I've always kind of liked looking at maps, so I, I'd seen this forever and finally did some research and figured I would go check it out. So if you're like me, maybe this will help. It's a very well-kept and clean campground. It's like three generations working there of a family. And I think it's the probably the most northern campground in the continental United States, and it was 25 bucks a day. The owners of the campground are Rick and Pat. And if you watched some of my previous videos, you saw this trip wasn't all easy for me. I had some issues. My water pump went bad, and these people are amazing. They were able to get me in touch with the local Mr. Fix-It dude who was able to... Uh, get my RV all fixed up. And then they also just dealt with me asking question after question. Kiki, you're snoring again. Because when I go somewhere, I really like to find out about the area. And this place is just so cool. There's so many things. I'm gonna try to share some of it in this video and maybe some other videos, but it's just a neat and unique place. Very nice campground and, and I'll show you a little bit about it here. Sorry the video isn't great. I forgot to do a walk around video of the campground. So this was just me driving in and driving out a couple times. Okay, this is inside the shower. And there are two of these buildings with four showers. Decent shower. And quite large. Mirror. I don't have the main light on because that fan's really loud. But pretty good facilities here. For 25 bucks a day, it's hard to complain. And again, you're as far north as you can get in the continental United States. Now I'm not a planner by nature and I really don't like to be held to a schedule. So I came up here with zero reservations. I, I had made no contact with them. I planned to stay for two days. And then when my water pump went bad, it looked like there might have been a problem of where I was going to continue to stay. And they were super cool. They were like, no matter what, you, you don't worry, you'll be all right. It ended up I had a campsite the entire time, but they were so helpful. Even though I didn't do it, there's pretty much one reason people come up here, and that's to fish. A lot of people get picked up and go to resorts from this very dock and leave their cars in the massive parking lot. Around the angle, there's a few different call-in boxes for customs, and there's one here at Young's Bay. So this is one of two parking lots for the marina. All right, and this lake is very, very big and has 14,000 little islands. So like when I got here, there were a bunch of people that were waiting on a boat to come pick them up and take them off to another island at a resort in Canada. It's pretty wild. Monster. Monster Lake. Lake of the Woods. So all these cars, this huge parking lot, I was told these are the ones that are all off onto island somewhere. The other parking lot I showed would be the people that have rented boat slips and most of them are staying in cabins or in a small RV park. But all these cars are people that are staying on islands either. Some of them might be camping or some of them, lots of those islands have resorts on them. So they'll get picked up by a boat and taken out there. Tons of them. The campground gets two bucks a day per car and 10 bucks to launch your boat. So I think financially they're doing pretty well. I go places and ask a lot of questions. I'm standing at the dock on Young's Bay. And if you look over there, that's actually Canada. But from there, everything you can see is Minnesota. 
that's that. I really did like this campground and the people. I think there's about two dozen sites, maybe 26, and many of them were custom, you know, that people were staying there for the entire season. But I was fortunate to be able to stay five days unannounced when I got extended through hardship. <laughs> Each day I spent quite a bit of time sitting right on this dock, talking to the owners and just soaking it all in. Beautiful place. Any Canadian lake, except that the lake is not entirely in Canada. Right. 14,552 islands. And how many miles of shoreline? 65,000. 65,000. That's amazing. I didn't buy a stuffed anything, but I did get a t-shirt, which I liked. I was told just so many things, like the reporting stations here, if you go from Canada to the United States, if you don't report in quick, there are drones flying all over this place, and they say that uh, they're on you quick. They, they know when somebody doesn't report, they're watching. So don't panic, America's being protected. <laughs> hey YouTubers, that right there might be a Northwoods palm tree. Saloon. I think no, that's a goal. Now they didn't have any boat rentals and I regret not being able to get on the lake and not being smart enough to just ask a fellow camper, hey, can I go out on the lake with you? Uh, packs of wild dogs roaming freely. Actually, that's a pretty cool dog. He's a monster. He's like a small moose. <laughs> but he he's the owner's dogs and he goes where he wants, does what he wants. Kiki not that thrilled. Do you see that big dog, Keek? It's big. Big dog. So I suggest the Northwest Angle. If you have a wandering spirit and looking for something different, try Young's Bay Resort. Have a great and wonderful day. I got two thumbs way up. <laughs>